Hey guys, so I just traveled uh, across to East Germany um, from Berlin to a, what city are we in? This is uh, Rodlim. Rodlim. So we're here in Rodlim and with uh, at the Wagner Tuning uh, Factory R&D headquarters. So this facility is really impressive. I can't wait to guys to show it to you guys. This is Ben. Hey guys. He's gonna give us a tour and uh, this is gonna be really exciting. Yeah, so official way, uh, welcome to Wagner Tuning Germany. Ron, Ben, we will show the company of Wagner Tuning today. So let's go, yeah. So we're walking into R&D, correct? Yeah, right, exactly. Okay. So this is the kind of brain of the company here, right. <laughs> as we say all the time. <laughs> so we have really smart guys here, so the engineers and uh, yeah, the good guys from the sales team. Yeah. So yeah, there's R&D here. So here's one thing, the vehicle, you can, scan the, you can scan the vehicle, you can scan the parts, yep. whatever you need, you can actually move it over to scan the vehicle as well. You have two of them, are very impressive. This obviously speeds up the process um, and, and, and the whole tooling and getting the 3D CATs, drawings. Yeah. For prototyping, see if it fits or do we have some yeah, adjustments. Yeah, right. So then you can do the 3D printer and then you can even more arm here. And this is a super flow, um, so which you can do the, the CFM. Yeah, it's pretty important to see uh, how we improve our products compared to the OEM set. So, and with this kind of, uh, of machine, we can check the pressure drop and see, compare what happens with the OEM one, what happens compared with our um, intercooler. And uh, yeah, that's a big thing to show the customer what is exactly the difference right. in numbers and not just saying in the description, this intercooler is better and less pressure drop. And this is something we don't only want to uh, say something, yeah. that, that we can do something, we want to prove it and bring facts and numbers so and that you can see, oh, okay, that makes sense. And we can uh, prove it all the day, so very cool. So this is the R&D area, they've got a 991 that they're working on at the moment. So we got the OEM intercooler right here, yeah. and we've got the, the OEM shroud. And on the other side here, you've got um, Wagner's own version of it with the carbon fiber. Yeah, for you guys in the shops, it uh, should be feel like an OEM installation, you know? So everything 100% fitment, so, but the performance, of course, uh, it's a high performance part, but with the feeling of installation of the OEM part. So yeah. that makes so. That makes a huge difference. Yeah. That makes a huge difference. And in this area, and in this area, we've got the uh, research and development, right? Yeah, right. It's something huge for us, and I talk all the time to my uh, clients and customers and dealers because um, the huge difference between us and other manufacturers is that we are a developer. Yeah. We are developing, testing, prototyping everything in-house here and that makes a huge difference. So we will, or we engineer each intercooler for the needs of every single car. So, and that's the thing here that makes so much work and uh, yeah. makes so much time here. So it looks like over here, um, he is working with the 3D modeling, the 3D CAD stuff. And he's actually testing a, for a part to see how it fits. Yeah, you see here the cloud, for example, from the scan. Right. So and he's modeling inside in this space, so the downpipe. Really cool, really cool. And then here he's got schematics from all this 3D stuff. And so he's, he's got this detailed schematics, if you were to look at it, um, and of all the different measurements that they need and what they're looking at. So then it goes into production. Now. I know he's not here, yeah. but this one is very interesting. I wish he was here today. Yeah. This guy runs simulations all day long to yeah. make sure that things are working correctly. Yeah. And why is he doing simulations from what I was told is there are hundreds, hundreds of configurations for the inner, the inner core, uh, inside. So whether they're squiggly lines, different, different angles, staggered setups and so forth, he's running this. No other manufacturer that I can think of, nobody's doing this. They yeah. just have one method and that's it. Yeah. Now, according to simulations, everything is different and that's really important on why it's different. And you see, for example, just to let you know guys, 
uh, the difference, for example, comes in the dimension also. So yeah. if you have a long intercooler, you cannot use the same core construction for like you use it for a short. Right. So you cannot just uh, make the core a little bit smaller and then uh, bring it to the, uh, the smaller intercooler. So each size, each dimension need to have their own core construction or their own needs. So, so we're going from one building to the next. Now we're going into manufacturing? Yeah, right, exactly. Cool. So this is pretty new everything, so it's built in 2016. Okay. Yeah, so we are here in the manufacturing, we part of the manufacturing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we got some tables for welding for the guys for prepare everything for the intercoolers. Also here is a part of the quality finishing also. Okay. Okay, so let's go check out the quality control over here. And this is uh, really, really cool from what I see. Uh, yeah, one of the major things we do in quality management is the leak test, of course. Right. So, see, that's the main thing. If the intercooler is uh, not proof and uh, there are some leaks, then we get a huge problem with the intercooler. And uh, yeah, to check this out, we have a, like a bus tube here yeah. with water inside. And um, yeah, we close both sides and bring um, air into the system. And then drown it to the water and see if there comes bubbles or not. Right. Thank you. Normally we have six to seven guys for welding here. Yeah. So you have six to seven employees. Yeah, right. Just for welding. welding. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Very cool. What a cool area. This yeah. is a, an exciting new development up there. Yeah. And then that heater is the same too. So this is a really cool area, um, especially the quality control that happens here. Yeah. 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 So let's continue. Right now into the warehouse. And let's, uh, as you can see, it's the warehouse. So uh, for the packaging and boxing and all the stuff, from here all the packaging goes uh, through the road you know, yeah. to all of our suppliers and dealers and partners. So I can show you guys how it basically is packed with all these uh, stuff inside to protect everything. Because you need to think about it. everything goes from Germany here, from this station to, for example, Australia, United States, uh, to Asia, to even to Japan. And uh, you know, the guys from the postal service are not like always the good guys. So, and uh, with this, uh, everything is protected. Everything is right. safe. Double corrugated, sealed air, styrofoam, and that's just on, the, on top of whatever the packaging already before it. So, yeah, and so pretty impressive. Let's go look at the, the rest of the inventory. This is pretty tall and it is insane. <laughs> um, this is a lot. So these are pallets. Yeah, ready right. to go. Right, right. So these are ready to go, these are ready to ship. Yeah, yeah they go to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. This one's Hong Kong. This is Hong Kong and so Most else. of these things going to Asia. Okay. Uh, so when you get to Mod Bargains and to our company, um, you know, this is how it arrives to us. It comes off a pallet. So um, straight from Germany and gets sent over on these pallets. So all this inventory that we're going to walk through here, um, it's all ready to go. I think it's all live inventory on the website. So I, I, I know that we use it all the time. There's a pallet shaker right there. Um, wow. And you see the problem is it's even not enough. You think it's tall but it's not enough. So and that's why sometimes we have a Little problem that we cannot uh, send out that much intercoolers uh, that people want to have and the customers want to have, so we have a little delays from time to time. So, guys, excuse me for the delay. So, <laughs> this time now it was my chance. Uh, please accept my apologize uh, for this. But, uh, yeah, you see, it looks big, yeah. but uh, sometimes we have also delays. So, right. Yeah. And you guys have your own packaging. So, that takes up all uh, warehousing is a, is a major challenge.
Now we are behind of the facility and you see here is a little bit space. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit of space. Yeah. Quite a bit of space. Yeah. So we can also grow in the future. We want to grow. We need to grow. Yeah. So yeah. So this is something. So as continued growth happens, you guys have the space for it. I wish we had this much space in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, not that easy. Yeah. But uh, this is great. You guys build your own buildings. Um, you know, you guys are eco and inf uh, environmental friendly. Yeah. Um, it's great. It's very smart. It's, uh, it's great that you have all this. Yeah. So you see, we want to invest more and more, grow, grow, but we want to grow healthy, you know? Yeah. So, and uh, yeah, so we have a lot of possibilities here for the future. There are already some plans for this and uh, yeah, so you can expect a lot for the future. It's great. This is great. Thank you. sit together when we have lunch yeah just like like a little community you know yeah. talking to each other also one thing I noticed is when I got in here everybody's very friendly everybody it's a team it's like a family here actually yeah. more than just a team it's almost a family here um, I, I, I noticed that amongst the staff so thank you really really cool to see that awesome yeah